And we are so grateful to have you in our midst tonight. And we know it's by the grace of God that you're here. And we know it was ordained by God. Because you could have been anywhere, but you chose to be here. So we're excited about that. We believe that this class is going to help you to overcome some issues that have been going on in your life. And I stand to tell you, every one of us have some things that, go, that are going on in our lives from past experience even up to present. So the reason that we're here tonight, because God did something great in my life many years ago. A lot of you know my testimony, especially you that are from the Etheric Center and Faith Chapel. But I stand before you, I give honor to God who is the head of my life first of all. I give honor to this great man of God for opening up his facility, none other than preacher man. Mm -hmm. Amen. Of the gospel, thank you everybody. Amen. We hear him every day, and he's doing a phenomenal job here in the San Diego area, and we are grateful as to what God is doing. But before we get into our syllabus and our lesson, again, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. And there are a lot of women of vision that are here. The women of vision are actually sponsoring this particular event. And every woman of vision that are here, will you please wave your hand or stand? Amen. Amen. The Lord allowed us to start a Women of Vision group many years ago. It's an organization. We've been in force for about 12 years now. We started off because we had dreams and vision that God would help our young people, help our elderly, help our women, our families that are in need, and also our young women that have children and that are trying to raise their children along. We do numerous of things. We go out in the community. We are an outreach ministry. We go out in the community to the convalescent home during the Christmas holidays. We take socks into the convalescent home. We do ministry downtown. We take food and clothing. Uh, we help in the recovery homes. And we're grateful to what God is doing in that area. And one of our directors is here tonight and he brought a crew with him. And that's none other than Elder. Richard Stroud. Amen. Everyone from the Ethric Center, will you please, please raise your hand? Amen. We are thankful that you're here tonight, and we believe before you leave this class, within the seven week period, that God is going to do something phenomenal in Amen. your life. And back to the women of vision, what God allowed us to do 12 years ago, we started a a youth explosion for the young people. This ministry is based on zero to 99. So the Lord allowed us to, allowed us to start that youth explosion. And we started it on a catfish dinner, a dinner that was worth about $768, I do believe. That year, the Lord allowed 600 children to come into the youth explosion. And as the years went by, we had thousands of children that came forth. No one ever asked me what was the purpose, purpose of the youth explosion. The purpose was to bring our young people off the street. I'm 61 years old. I don't have another 61 years here. But while I'm here, I'm endeavored to do a work that the Lord has called me to do. God allowed me to be delivered from molestation. He allowed me to be delivered from cancer. I was placed in a hospital unit to die 33 years ago and God saw fit to raise me up out of the hospital again. I do not take it lightly. Say amen, somebody. And I stand to tell you that I don't have any problems from that. The only problems I have is from memory lapse sometimes, but that comes from old age, amen? But then I tell the Holy Ghost to bring things back to my remembrance, and he does that as well. So I'm grateful for that. So as we sit here tonight, and we feast on what God has given us for the root of bitterness. And I know every one of you all have something in your life. And I believe tonight that you, you are probably going to start sharing. And that's why we are here. God allowed me to come up out of this uh, about six, back in 2006, when I wrote my first book, an autobiography called I Don't Take It Lightly. I carried this bitterness within me for 40 years. 40 years, I was hugging you and telling you that I love you, but I was bitter. I was bitter. I had unforgiveness in my heart. 
And I discovered that I cannot make it to heaven with unforgiveness in my heart. And God erased my past life. I think on it sometimes, but God erased it. But God doesn't let, allow me to forget where he brought me from. I have scars to prove where I've come from. But I stand to tell you that I'm free, I'm delivered, and I'm here to tell you that God can do the same for you. Amen. The Lord has blessed us with three television ministries, and we are so grateful for that. We had a ministry that came on board yesterday, and everything we do, we do it by faith. How many know that you got to walk by faith? And not by yes. This is a faith walk. And I continue to tell people, I say, you're talking about a recession. I say, apparently I've been in it all my life because I've walked by faith all my life. Amen. So we stand on the promises of God. Whatever God has given us to do, we step forth to do it. I try not to allow bitterness to fester in me. And when it does, I can feel it. And I know it's coming. But I ask God to replace it with love. Our ministry, the Women of Vision, is based totally off of love. It's all about love, coming out of 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. Where there's love, there's liberty. And where there's liberty, there's unity. We cannot do this work without you. We all are in the body of Christ. So we all come together to do a great work for the Lord. Again, I am so grateful for you being here tonight. And I love you. And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. When I say I love you, it's not phony. It's genuine. I truly love you. Amen? Amen. So as time goes on, these seven weeks, we're hoping and praying that you will stick with us for the next seven weeks. Because if you miss one week, then you may be missing your blessing. So pray, ask God, seek the Lord in everything that you do, even about this class. And we believe that God is going to do great things. And one of the things that God has done for us, he allowed Pastor uh, Sanford to step on board with us. And I thank God for him and his ministry and his lovely wife. Amen. They both are prophets and prophetess from God, been called by God. We thank God for Elder Gorn and his lovely wife, Amen. First Lady Rochelle Gorn. We thank God for you all. Uh, we thank God for the mother being here tonight. He's going to pray us through. Amen, mother? Amen. 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 We thank God for the brethren. And we thank God for my friends that heard about this through the news or through a friend or through the radio station. All right. The word is out there. So we're asking you to spread the word. Spread the word. We believe that in Azusa, as preacher man said, is going to come out of this root of bitterness. After this root of bitterness class, we believe that Excuse me, that God is going to take us in, into a revival. Amen. Because the land need a revival. Amen. The land need to be healed. Amen. I had a dream Sunday night, and I won't go into the in-depth, but I had a dream that the floodgates were open, and the flood came to take us under. But I served notice on the devil. If we stick together, we can do what thus said the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, we have... Pastor Gordon, he's here. He's doing a YouTube video. So you may be on YouTube. 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 Amen. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring the television cameras in here before this segment is over. So you will be on television. We're going to try to bring them in at least twice. Amen. And I hope you don't have a problem with that. You're handsome and you're beautiful, so you should not have a problem with it. You may even get picked up by Hollywood. How about that? <laughs> amen, amen. But if you do have a problem with it, let us know. And we definitely will not air you on TV. We'll bypass you. Well, who does not want to be on television? Yeah, I would be. A I know you do, baby. <laughs> that pretty face, yes, you do. But anyways, Pastor Sanford, did you want to say something, introduce you, and then how do you want me to do this? Go back to the syllables? Yes, ma'am. OK. Yeah, let me, I'm going to this is my lovely wife over here that prays for me, gives me vision, carries my vision, does everything that I don't do. Raise your hand there, baby, please. Oh. Yeah. Uh, there's some brochures that have been passed out to all of you. Uh, this is going to be the um, opening of our uh, church services. It'll tell you all the information in there. Look in there. Some of you got a card also with some of you guys. There's some information that you want to really get to look into. This is not another church. 
me say that over here so you got this is not another church we got plenty of churches this is not one of them this place here the rivers of life will bring life everywhere we go you will be taught how to speak positive in every way that you every word that comes out of your mouth will bring life not only to yourself but to other people you will learn who you really are you will understand who God created you to be upon this earth it's not about what you're doing it's about who you are so rivers of life if one of those ministries we have five-fold ministry, which we believe in the whole Bible. It's a five-fold ministry that believes in the order of God totally. So here you will learn some very specific things that will teach you about yourself. Amen? Amen. All right. Uh, then we're going to bring Mother on back up, and we're going to get into this because I'm excited. I am too. Say amen for Pastor Sam. We have given you a syllabus, and we have also given you a questionnaire sheet. And what we're going to do at the end of this session, we're going to pick those sheets up. Every week, we're going to have something for you to fill out, to tell us about yourself. You do not, do not need to place your name. It's optional. It's up to you if you want to place your name there, and we can pray you through. Amen? So it's confidential, confidential. Pastor Sanford and I will be praying about it. But it may be some of those questions that we may interact from no one would ever know who did it or who said it. But if you have a problem with it, then you let us know. Amen. We want to make you as comfortable as possible yeah. in this class. We don't want to ride anybody. We don't want to force anybody. We just want everybody to feel free like we are. Amen. Amen. Again, it took me 40 years, and I'm praying that it will not take you 40 years to get free delivered and deliver it. Amen. Amen. Now looking at your syllabus, I'm going to do this and then Pastor Samples is going to come back and, and get into the lesson. One of the things that I want to bring to your attention is the location. Of course, you all know that we're located at 63, uh, 68, no, 6381 Imperial Avenue. And this is called the Upper Room here in San Diego. Our class dates are May 22nd through July 3rd. And that's every Tuesday. Amen? Amen. The phone number, you can reach us on the Women of Vision television line, which is 619-934-7298. And if we're not available, please leave a message, and we will return your call as soon as possible. You see our email address, Pastor Sanford and I, riversoflife7 at gmail.com, in, 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 ink at uh, 7 at uh, gmail.com. And evangelist join us, jhood1636 at cox.net. Um, and I also have another email if you want to write it down. I actually have several. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll give you one more if you want to write it down. If you can't, you know, feel free. It, it's still jhood1636, but only it's at gmail.com. And that's where the blogs and all that go out. Amen. Amen. Pastor Gordon. Amen. Okay, uh, A, we're looking at the description. It says, this class deals with hidden roots that cannot be seen. It is to help members to overcome hurt, pain, and suffering. Uh, it is to release bitterness and unforgiveness, to deal with the five forms of abuse, such as physical, verbal, mental, domestic, and molestation. This class is to bring liberty and healing in each member's life. Although there may be a member or members that are taking this class that have not been exposed to any of these entities, but do know someone that has been. I believe we all can attest knowing someone that has gone through something. We realize that this member is standing in the gap for another or others. We do appreciate your participation. The organization of this particular class is to involve interaction, group settings and discussion, confidentiality, respect, honor, and friendship. Our objectives are to introduce methods that will enhance the class on a weekly basis, to bring in testimonials that is extremely positive of those that are free of this drastic disease, to provide, provide material that are suitable for the class, to expect a positive outlook on life, and to leave completely delivered. The topics the class the topics the class will cover following to topics.
Pardon? 